All right, guys, I brought you here for an emergency meeting. This better be important. I had to reschedule my nap for this. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. This is super important. Did someone hack your bank account and steal all your money? It's much worse than that. Did my favorite ice cream shop close down? Come on, guys, I'll explain on the way there. Wait, we're taking the limo? How serious is this? It's a matter of life and death. Guys, I'm a little short on gas money. That's why your broke ass is always in the back. Come on, Sleepy Joe, we don't have much time. Sorry, guys, couldn't find the doorknob for a sec. I know you have dementia, Joe, but I didn't know you were blind, too. Speaking of dementia, Joe, did you take your pills today? What pills? Well, that answers your question. Anyway, this is probably a good time to explain what's going on. Your bald raccoon ass can't talk and drive at the same time, so I suggest to stay quiet. Shut up, Obama. I'm the greatest driver of all time, and as a matter of fact, Lewis Hamilton was taking his driving lessons from me. Wait, who's Lewis Hamilton again? I'm surprised Sleepy Joe is keeping up with us. As I was saying, early this morning, one of my secretaries told me that a wild pack of yetis started inhabiting one of my islands and have formed a civilization. Wow, that's kind of insane. Joe's right, this yeti thing could be a serious threat to our nation. I was actually talking about the ice cream building on the right. Joe, if you don't shut up, I swear to God, I'm going to throw you out this car. Not gonna lie, Donald, that sounds a lot better than being your passenger. So, what are those Yetis want? Are they dangerous or territorial or anything like that? Nothing of sorts, Obama. In fact, they've given us a peace offering, claim that they will not go any further and will just inhabit that one island. Wait, if there's no threat, then where are we going? Are we gonna bring them some chocolate chocolate chip ice cream? Don't be stupid, Sleepy Joe. We're going to that island to scare those Yetis off. Why do you want those Yetis off? There's no threat, and you have thousands of islands on your name. Why do you care if some Yetis inhabited one of them? Well, you see, my dear friend Obama, I was planning to build a golf course on that island, which was going to make America great again, and I'm not going to let some Yetis ruin my plans. Hold on, so all of this is about you and your stupid fucking golf course? Obama, my friend, if I can't build a golf course on an island that I bought fair and square, how am I going to make America great again? I could really go for some chocolate chocolate chip ice cream right now. On fucking believable, Donald. And here I was thinking that you're a man that can change. People don't change Obama just like your boring sex life with Michelle. Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Will Smith over here is getting cranky. (laughs) Ha ha! That's a good one, Sleepy Joe. Guys, why don't we all just relax and talk it out? I'm sure we all have reasons behind our actions. That's a good idea, Joe. Why don't we start with Obama? Why did you bomb that village? I know your greedy racist ass did not just bring that up. I'm just saying I want to know why you did it. I forgot what we were talking about. Well, at least I'm not kicking Yetis out of islands just so I can build a golf course there. Obama, trust me, if you ever get as wealthy as me, you'll do the same. I'd rather have dementia. Guys, where are we going again? I swear to God, Sleepy Joe, sometimes I just don't even know why we're friends with you. Same reason why you're killing people and now animals, Donald. Money. Say that to me when I throw you out of my $1 million yacht we're about to get on. Donald, why is Obama so angry? Oh my God, shut up, you fucking goldfish. Save it, both of you, we're almost there. And where exactly are we going, Donald? With driving like this, I presume heaven. We both know that's not where you're going to go, Obama. Anyway, we're here. Let me guess. You're going to drive down there? Absolutely. Unfucking believable All right, everybody, hop on. Is this really what we're going to be riding on? Make no mistake, Obama, this is the best yacht known to the U.S. I know your cheap ass didn't just call this raggedy-ass raft a yacht. The water's so nice today. Well, I'm so sorry. I'd be happy to get on your multi-million yacht instead. Just shut up and drive the damn thing. Hey, Obama, what color is your Bugatti? I said drive you hair implanted raccoon. My tummy feels weird. Don't worry, Sleepy Joe. As soon as we get those Yetis off my glorious island, your tummy will be enjoying some ice cream in no time at all. Wow, it's actually very close to the city. Yeah, it took us like less than 10 minutes. I'm telling you guys, this island will make America great again. Says the guy who bought a car and the kids inside it from a random woman at the airport. Trust me, Obama, child support was such a pain in the ass that she was better off without those children. Did somebody say children? I'm honestly very surprised that you're still not in jail. Who's in jail? And there goes the dementia again. I wonder if those Yetis have kids. Joe, get your sick ass off that boat. Sleepy Joe, that yacht is worth more than all of your lawsuits combined. I just wanted to make sure it was parked properly. While I appreciate the gesture, Sleepy Joe, only the most elite such as myself are skilled enough to drive that piece of art. I didn't know rusty piles of shit were called art, Donald. And I didn't know starving children and bombing villages was called helping people. He does make a pretty valid point. Let's go, guys. I can already feel the smell of golf balls and capitalism. Of course you can. Come on, guys. The Yetis are on the other side. Are you seriously expecting my black ass to swim across that? Uh, guys, I can't swim. 
Quit whining, you two. Just think of the stories they'll be writing about us. Three U.S. presidents scaring off yetis on a deserted island. Sounds like the dream I had last night. The last thing I need is for people to think that I'm on drugs. Shots fired. Draw your weapons. Joe, what the hell is that thing in your hands? It's my PP gun, Donald. Did his old ass just say PP gun? Plasma powered. That's what it means. Fuck this shit. I didn't work my black ass off just to get shot by a fucking Yeti. Guys, I got this. Distract them and I'll sneak up behind them. Your old ass can't climb for shit. Remember me, Eduardo? The fuck did his cheap ass just say? Let's talk now, you hairy bitch. Wait, I think I see one of them. What the fuck was that? That was the power of the PP gun, baby. If it isn't Roberto. Was. I thought you said we were gonna scare them off. I never said how. Trump, those are people you're killing. Unemployed immigrants who have trespassed on my land, they're basically Mexicans. Works for me. How the fuck does that make it any better? It does for me. Now, come on, we got land to conquer. Sorry, guys, I had a taco this morning. That was me, you fucking degenerate. Well, then, excuse you. Remember me, Juan? How's that job working out for you, huh? Joe, when I said cover me, I didn't mean a fucking hug. Sorry, I just thought you could use one. Both of you get your asses over here. I just found the Rodriguez family. Are there any kids there? Holy shit, these fuckers multiply fast. Alejandro, you've grown up. You pay taxes, motherfucker. Joe, behind you. Don't worry, Obama. I have a spare PP gun up my ass. Holy shit, Donald, you gotta come see this. I'm a little busy right now, Obama, trying not to die. Well, hurry up. You Latino fuckers chose the wrong bushes to shit on. Obama, I just found shit under these bushes. I'm sorry about this, Carlos, but you crossed the line. Trump, did you find anything in there? Uh. Why is he quiet? Trump, anything valuable in there? Um, I'm afraid not Obama. Just piles of bodies, some sticks, and a lot of shit. You mean that good shit? I mean literal shit. Well, then leave that shit and come help us. Where the hell are you guys? Trying to get to you. Hey, that one kind of looks like my dad. Of course he does. How are there so many of them? There are five shooting at me right now. I'll wait four. That was Obama. I swear, Joe, I'm stick that PP gun up your ass. This is probably not a good time to mention that the gun can vibrate as well. You, Joe, who the fuck made that thing? It was a gift from Area 51. These motherfuckers multiply faster than cancer cells. I could really go for a nap right now. Michelle is probably so worried right now. I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. The fuck did your white ass just say to me? The truth, Obama. Nothing but the truth. Guys, where are you? I don't see you anywhere. Your dumb ass is on the wrong side of the island. Sleepy Joe, is your dementia contagious by any chance? No, it's not. I've been next to this dumb ass for the past 30 minutes. Just get your racist ass over here. Joe, there's a Yeti behind you. What are you talking about? That's a tree. Oh, shit. I think it might be contagious. I can smell an immigrant nearby. Hey, Fernando, over here. Pussy. Trump, there are a ton of them on the beach below. What's going on down there? It sounds like a war zone. Obama stopped shooting a tree. Sorry, they all look the same to me. That's rich coming from a guy like you. I see a bunch of yetis on the bottom of the beach, south coast. Say less. You sure you got it? Trust me, I'm going to enjoy getting those filthy immigrants off my land. Shots fired. Trump, I think they're shooting you. No shit, numb nuts. Don't die on us now, Trump. You still owe me those $20. Yeah, thanks, man. That really motivated me. Hey, man, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Is that what you tell 12-year-old boys? How are there so many of them? The 12-year-old boys? No, you village-blowing moron, the Mexicans. You mean the Yetis? Aren't they the same? Of course they are. Hey, Hairball, ever heard of private property? Well, now you do, bitch. Damn, the poor thing just learned what trespassing was the hard way. Welcome to America, motherfucker. I think there are only a couple of them left. And they're right here. Wait, how do you know where they are? I can smell those immigrated fuckers from a mile away. What's that wet raccoon doing? Oh, wait, that's Trump. Hold on to that 20 you owe me. We're coming to help. Thanks for nothing, but I think we're done here. Where are you going? Finding a nice flat area for us to get out of here. The boat is on the other side of the island, you moron. I need a helicopter on my coordinates, Stephen, and make it snappy. Come on, guys. I have a Big Mac with my name on it waiting in the White House. And? You didn't think I would forget about your chocolate chocolate chip ice cream Sleepy Joe, did you? Yay. So let me get this straight. You brought us here on a yacht. You made us massacre those Latino motherfuckers. You order a private helicopter to take us back home with McDonald's and ice cream waiting, and your cheap ass still doesn't have that 20 you owe me? You see, my friend, it's all about priorities. And don't worry, I'm gonna give you that 20 next week. Your cheap ass has been saying that for the past 13 and a half years. Wow, the island's so pretty from up here. I hope you at least got me something to eat. Well, of course I did, Obama. You're gonna have all the leftovers that we have. I'll even throw in half a chicken nugget. Only half, though. Don't get too greedy. What did your sick ass just say? I think that the words you're looking for are thank you. Thank you. 
You're welcome, Sleepy Joe. You did help me after all. You are the worst fucking person to ever walk on this planet, Donald. I don't know what you're talking about, Obama. I'm not the one who's blowing up villages and starving people while having a wife that's unsatisfied in bed. I could really use a nap right now. At least I have the balls to make my own kids and not buy them at the local airport. An African-American with balls? What fantasy are you living in? Guys, how did we get in a helicopter? The same way I got in America, Sleepy Joe, money. Hey, Trump, here's a question for you. How much money do you need to be happy? You see, Obama, I don't care about the money. The only thing I care about is making America great again and having enough food to sustain myself and my lovely family, as well as a couple hundred cars, including Bugattis, a couple of penthouses and apartments in every part of the world, and being immortal. That sounds fair. What part of that sounds fair? Guys, I'm so excited for the golf course. It's going to be amazing. Let me guess, we're going to have to pay to get in? Of course, that's the best part. You prideful, greedy racist. Well, which one am I, prideful, greedy, or racist? All of them. Yeah, that about checks out. Guys, are we going to get there soon? I really want to pee. Just stick your sausage out the window. Trump, what the fuck? You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Stick your half sausage out the window. Isn't that illegal? No, it's called marking your territory. I do it all the time. Thank God we're finally here. I'm going to be honest, I'm getting a little sick. Don't worry, Sleepy Joe. You're in the hands of a professional unlicensed pilot. Did your fat ass just say unlicensed pilot? Hold on, you two. I still don't know how to properly land this thing. Please be gentle. I can feel it coming out. Ha ha! That's what she said. Focus, you moron. Hold on, I just need to. A little to the right. Oh shit, wrong button. A little lower. God damn it, I need more practice. Where's autopilot when you need it? You're gonna fucking kill us. Hold on. I think this thing does have an auto park button. Okay, just pull the lever down gently. Or not. Honestly, good enough. I don't feel so good. Holy shit, get me out of here. You guys are welcome for the ride. I do apologize for the rough landing, though. It wasn't the first time practicing. Guys, I'm so sorry. It was an accident and I couldn't hold it in. Did you just fucking throw up in my helicopter? Come on, Donnie, I didn't mean to. You're gonna grab a mop right now, get on your knees and clean it up, you old smelly re- Thanks for watching the video. And thank you to our current, um, uh... God damn it, Sleepy Joe. Thank you to our W Fan Plus members. We got CeCe Afton and, uh, Daniel. So, it's not Daniel, but Daniel. Come on, bro. Wait, excuse me. Your full YouTube name is Daniel's Weather Space Station. Thank you for becoming members.